good morning welcome to a new weekly vlog it's actually tuesday guess what last week vlog still isn't uploaded i started to upload it at about 9 p.m on sunday and it's now like 12 o'clock on tuesday and it's at like 40 percent uploaded so i need to head home anyway because those my paperwork has arrived for my move so i need to go home anyway and sign some paperwork and stuff so i'm going to take my laptop and upload the vlog while i'm there so frustrating but if you watched last week's vlog, when it finally goes up, you will know that I got the NYX Total Control Foundation. So I thought I would give it a go and let you know my impressions today. I was going to try and try it yesterday, but I was like, I'm doing four miles worth of walking this week, like today. And that's not a fair test on a foundation, I feel, when it's not like my daily activity. It's not like I'm... It's not like I bought the foundation to last for that. So I felt like that was just a bit unfair. So I'm going to test it out today but i have nowhere to put you to show you so i will just show you when it's on <laughs> and it's on it always looks like i don't blend my foundation i do my chest is sunburn and it just doesn't cover my sunburn <laughs> i like to take my foundation all the way down here anyway first impressions i really like it it blended out super easy i did spill a bit that's the only thing like i don't particularly like the application like what's it called whatever it is not a fan of that that's kind of awkward but the foundation itself i really like it's a lot more coverage than i thought it's it's medium coverage which it is like <laughs> i don't know why i was doubting that but it, i feel like it's higher coverage than i thought it was going to be i really like it it feels really nice on my skin as well it feels really light and right now after first application i actually prefer the feel of this to my estee lauder double wear which is what i swear by this one also i feel like the color matches way better as well this comes up i feel like they've changed the formula because this one comes up um slightly orangey on me now but this one is a perfect match the bottle is tiny but i also feel like you don't really need that much i did what did I do? I did a big drop here and two little ones and then two big drops, two big drops and a drop on my nose and my chin. That's the one that went here. I've tried to like clean it off if you can't tell. Um, but I have to change my top when I get home because I don't... I only, oh, today's my only day off here so I only bought like one outfit. But I'm going out tonight for dinner so I need to change this. But yeah. So I'm now going to try and apply, try and apply, I am going to apply the rest of my makeup over the top and we'll see how it works with like other things. I have also already put my concealer on which is obviously the last imperfections and it's blended really nicely over that. Sometimes I find that this kind of makes, or it can if I wear foundation over the top can make my skin look a bit patchy so where I've got the concealer it can go a bit patchy but it hasn't done that at all, it's blended beautifully like over my skin. I'm impressed. This is £14. This is 32 Obviously, this is way higher coverage, and I feel like the lasting power of this is probably going to be better. But right now, the feel of this, I'm, I love it. I love it. But I'll keep you updated throughout the day. And my face is done. <laughs> I really like this foundation. I'm a fan so far. Uh, now it's time to go and get a vlog uploaded, finally and change my top annoying and i need to buy some cat food actually for this little munchkin finch hi he <laughs> looks so grumpy bless him he hasn't had his wet food this morning because i've run out so i need to go buy some it's proper sulking. So I've walked to and from work now twice this time round. Um, my feet are killing me. They didn't hurt this bad last time. Like I was fine. Although I didn't walk back as much. Just knock on the door. Last time. Daniel picked me up a few times, but obviously I'm walking back this time. My feet hurt so bad. But I don't want to give in and like get the bus. Like I want to be fit. <laughs> Just got home and I'm now craving an egg sandwich, so we're just making an egg sandwich. But the vlog is already 74% uploaded, so hopefully within the next half an hour, there'll be a vlog. 
Also, all of my paperwork is here for my new house, so I need to read through that and sign it all, because I'm going to take it with me at the weekend, because that's where I'm going. I'm going to the house, basically, for a party. So I'm just going to take it with me, because Pippa's dad is the landlord, so I'm assuming she can give it to him. It was her idea for me to take it with me anyway, so... That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Also, look, we've got a um, like family friend that we've known for years, and she's knitted me a little foxy. He's gonna come with me. He's so cute, but he needs a name. So if anyone can think of a name for little foxy, let me know. <laughs> Paperwork is all signed. It's getting a bit real now. Um, I'm now just off to buy cat food and then off to Cambridge to go and see Zoeykins for a wagamamas, have a little catch up with her. Looking really slow. In front of her, looking really slow. <laughs> um, and also, I want to run into New Look. She wants to go to Boots. I want to go to New Look because I saw a dress in there. I need to get petrol. Um, a few weeks ago, and I kind of want to get it because I feel like the weather is going to be shocking on Saturday for this party. And I wanted to wear that backless jumpsuit, if you remember. But a, I haven't got a bra for it yet, which is something I can obviously do. But B, I think it's going to be too cold for it. So there's like a really cute red wrap dress that I want to get and try and see if that would be any cuter because I can always wear that with tights as well and it won't look weird. So that's my plan. So I'm going to go because it's like quarter to five and I'm meeting Zoe at quarter to six. And I need to get, I need to get cat food. I need to go. <laughs> Did anyone just notice that I uh, just stopped the car instead of starting the car at the end of that clip? <laughs> Do you know what I really hate? People that can't park. Seriously, if you're going to drive a big car, learn to blue and park it, you drive me nuts. I'm not even joking, it's like this. Oh, pet peeve. It's not hard to park your car. Lazy. Lazy. I'm home watching shh, YouTube. <laughs> it's very bright. Um, I thought I would do a quick foundation update because I haven't spoken to you about it. Oh, that was a really bad bit to stop it on. Go dark. There we go. I really like it. I'm impressed with it today. Obviously, a real test will be when I wear it to work. Um, I've just rubbed that. That's why that's come off. But it hasn't cracked around my nose. Um, it's worn off normally like it would around my nose, but not as bad. But normally, the Estee Lauder one properly like cracks and goes really dry. And it just looks like I have a really dry nose, which I don't like my skin face my skin face my face skin is not dry at all um but so it hasn't cracked around my nose it hasn't cracked around my forehead which yesterday lauder does and it's just stayed really even like it's worn really really well so i am impressed with this foundation i'm gonna test it tomorrow i am walking to work so i feel like it's not going to be a fair test so i'm going to take it with me and maybe if i need to top it up when i get to work and stuff but I'm impressed with this foundation. Um, I've had a lovely day. Went home and uploaded the vlog, finally. So that is up, thank goodness. Then um, I signed all my paperwork, all the paperwork is signed. You know all this, because I've already told you it already. And then I went out for dinner with Zoe, which was lovely. It was so nice to have a little like one-to-one -one catch up with her, because we haven't done that in a little while. Um, and we used to spend loads of time together and it just kind of, I think because we worked together so much it was just a bit like we're just repeating the conversations we've already had, if that makes sense. So we stopped kind of hanging out and then obviously now she's left and I'm about to leave as well. Um, it was nice to have a bit of one-on-one -on -one car with Zoe time so that was quite cute. And I bought cat food so Finch is a happy kitty. Um, and now I'm just here chilling on the sofa in my... One love Manchester hoodie and my little shorts and I am very comfy and content right now. I feel very content. Um, I've received lots of lovely messages from you guys about my move and everything which is exciting. Like when people talk to me about it I get like a bit more excited about it every time because I'm like oh my goodness this is real like this is actually going to happen. So yeah thank you if you've sent me a message or left a comment or anything like that. It's been a very wet miserable day today. And it looks like it's about to rain again. Oh, I haven't shown you the garden yet, have I? I'll show you it. it it's wet. But um, if you watched the vlogs about this time last year, 
you will know that I house sat here last year and um, their parents came round, their mums came round and did the garden and like put some flowers in and stuff. But obviously that was a year ago. So the garden looks amazing now. And also um, Paul has built some decking for the garden. It looks so good, look. Look, I'm gonna open the door, it's gonna be cold. Oh, or not. Can you open? You are open. <laughs> Struggles. But all the flowers have come out and it looks beautiful. And then Paul has done some decking. Nice. I feel like Lucy pulled this from a bin or something. I think I read that. <laughs> Lucy, did you pull that from a bin? I feel like you did. But, yeah. That's the garden now, it looks so good. I love these little like flower beds here. They're gonna look really pretty when they're full. Hmm, it's chilly, let's shut the door and lock the door oh my goodness lock there we go how lovely does their garden look now it looks lovely i love their little house it's so cute and cozy such a nice little house like i feel like this is the sort of house i want as my first house like on my own obviously but um oh my goodness you have no idea how excited i am to live in pippa's house like it's gonna be my house too it's dreams I absolutely love it like when I was little I always dreamed of living in a house like that like the type of house and now I'm going to I hope you all had a nice Tuesday too my feet don't hurt quite so bad now so I think I probably will just walk in into work again tomorrow um I'll wear my converse with some socks so that should be all right also I've got to stay in here because I bought <laughs> <laughs> I bought Snickers ice creams because I've been craving them so when I went to Tesco's I bought Snickers ice creams for here and a bit of chocolate dripped on my jumper so I need to wash that but I don't really want to take it off because it's so freaking comfortable these jumpers are so comfy took it ages to arrive I think it's, I think they came from America I'm not sure so it took a long time for it to arrive but yeah I'm gonna go and get on with my evening so I've been talking to you for five minutes now and it is five to nine so I'm gonna finish watching this and I might have a cup of tea. I haven't had a cup of tea here yet. So I might have a cup of tea. Not just because I haven't had one here yet, but because I want one. <laughs> Eat some grapes. Mm. And then go to bed, ready for work tomorrow. Sweet dreams. The contour on my nose right now from this laptop light makes me look weird. Does anyone else sit um, on the computer for ages and then by the oi finch don't think you're allowed to do that young man thank you anyway did anyone else sit on their laptop and look up and think oh I should, probably should have put a light on it's really dark in here now and I didn't even realize so it's just me and my laptop light and my spot that is appearing on my chin beautiful and finch who I just told off and is now going to sulk <laughs> doesn't love me Benji hey I'm going to bed. <laughs> Finch came down, so we have just had a little playtime on the floor. Hmm, Finchy bum. Finchy, Finchy bum. Excuse the greasy looking skin, I've just put pseudocram on my spots. But living alone these last few days, I've come to a conclusion I talk to myself a lot. Like, I'll talk to myself through everyday activities i just have a conversation with myself about the fact that i should go for a wee before i get in my sleeping romper because going for a wee in my romper is faff and you basically have to get naked to have a wee so i was like i'm gonna go have a wee now while i'm still in my shorts and my jumper so it's easy and then i'll get in my romper and take my makeup off 
and that is a daily activity for me these days living alone in this house and I've only been here three days what am I going to be like at the end of the week probably an absolute nut job that talks to furniture although I have been known to do that before I say sorry to things when I walk into them a few years back I walked into a bush by accident and I said sorry to the bush does anyone else do that I can't be the only one that sits there and talks to themselves surely surely not and not like to a camera but in general like I talk to myself I talk to my food like I put my pizza in the oven the other day and I was like you cook nicely nice and quickly so you taste really good oh my god I'm such a weirdo there has to be other people that talk to their food out there and like talk to inanimate objects is that the word inanimate non-real things <laughs> right I'm going to bed now. I actually am going to bed. I've got the weirdest outfit on ever. I've got my like your uniform, my leather jacket, and then my Converse. I look really silly. I, why are you waiting for me to let you out? Oh, you can go out the front door when I leave in like two seconds. This morning has been a serious struggle. It looks like a really horrible day outside. Like it's already raining. Nasty. Um, so I've got my jacket on. Although it's probably going to get too hot in this. And the bed was so comfy, I don't want to get out of bed today. Um, I didn't manage to go to New Look yesterday, so I'm gonna try oh bored. I'm gonna try and go on my lunch today and find that dress for Saturday. So I've decided I really want to wear it. But let my walk begin barely spoken to you loves today this is my foundation mark from the nyx drop foundation because it goes everywhere and um, i'm just getting a uh, snickers ice cream from the freezer because i want one and why not oh freezer all mm. these are probably my favorite ice creams Love me some Snickers. Oh, I went to New Look today. Picked up, not the dress I was gonna plan on getting, but a jumpsuit and um, a different dress. And I need to pick which one I'm gonna wear and whatever I'm not wearing on Saturday to the party, I'm taking back because I spent too much money and it needs to go back. And there's no point keeping both anyway. But I'm gonna try them on for you guys tomorrow. So you can see them. Um, this spot here, right here, this one, is extremely painful. Like, it really hurts. Really hurts. Ouch. I'm really gonna take my makeup off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try them both on again tomorrow. And maybe Insta story or something and get some of you guys' opinion on them, which one to wear. <clears throat> the dress is a petite, so I don't know if it's going to be too short, but I don't know. I don't know because I haven't tried. I did. I tried the jumpsuit on, but I didn't try the dress on. It was kind of like a whim. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know yet. I need to. I need to try it on. I feel like I've spent so much time on my own over the last few days. I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit. I feel like I'm going a bit crazy. Awkward. <laughs> Good morning. I'm feeling a bit. Blech this morning because I've had like a breakout of spots like on my chest as well and like, on my face you can see that one because it's bright red but the others have covered up quite nicely but I just feel a bit I don't know my hair's so flat today yeah I just feel a bit and I can't bother to walk to work but then I'm like I don't want to spend money on the bus so I'm not going to literally my lip is so swollen because of this freaking spot and now we're not in focus. Are you going to focus on me again? No, I'm trying to carry my grapes downstairs. Don't make this hard for me. There we go. Like, you can see another one there. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even due on. This is so annoying. Just putting my grapes in the fridge. I had some for breakfast this morning. Because why not? I'm obsessed with grapes at the moment. I really like them. Um, I don't know if it's the foundation that's made me break out. I don't think it is because I had these spots anyway. But I woke up this morning. I've got loads over my nose, and I just obviously uh, it's not going to be that down here in my chest. That's definitely hormonal chest spots. 
but yeah i just feel a bit oh i don't know and this has just bugged me and it's so painful it's one of the most painful spots i think i've ever had oh the sun's bright it's because my sunglasses day to day but i guess i just have to live with it it's so painful and my battery's flashing now i'm wearing my cardigan today because it's 14 degrees but i feel like i'm going to regret it once i start walking probably go to work yes i am wearing navy and black but we're gonna do about it <laughs> i'm the worst person at portioning pasta like you'd think that i hadn't taken anything out of that oh no i've got a bowl full in the living room ready to eat um i need to find something to put that in i'll take it to work or something tomorrow and eat it when i get i'm just gonna be eating pasta for the next two days for all my meals this spot is so painful i've got one on my lip here i've got this one here what is going on with my face? All over my nose. Anyway, let's go eat my dinner. I'm very hungry. Very hungry. Ooh, we've gone blue. Yeah, look. I've probably made far too much food because that's just what I do. But I've got pasta and like little garlic bread things and some orange juice. I'm very hungry today. I've given in. <clears throat> I'm getting the bus today. I haven't technically given in. I just wanted longer in bed. I'm so tired at the moment. I was asleep by like 10 o'clock last night. I'm so tired all the time. I'm ready for today's be over. I'm ready for my weekend off. I'm ready for a party tomorrow. Let's get today done. The last week or so I've been watching a programme on Netflix called The Night Shift. It's really good by the way. If you like casualty, Holby City, like hospital type things, then you'll really like The Night Shift on Netflix. Go and watch it. But, there's four seasons by the way on Netflix. And, but on season four, there's only three episodes on there. I'm guessing season four had more than three episodes, right? And it like ended like really weirdly. I'm gutted, I want more. Anyway, I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go. I just thought I'd finish watching that episode before I left. I need to go get petrol, which is the bane of my life. Does anyone else really hate filling up with petrol? Like, it gives me anxiety to fill up with petrol. But I don't know why, like, there's no reason why it should, but I really, really hate doing it. To the point where I will, like, run my car to, like, nothing. I think I've got 10 miles left in my tank. I do that far too often because I just hate filling up with petrol. And it's also such a waste of money. Like It just feels like you throw money away into your tank of petrol car thing. Whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to go home. It's going to be nice to see my little fur baby today though. As much as I love Finch, he is a cutie but he's not my Aurora. <laughs> Bye Finch! <laughs> Good morning, Saturday, and it's party day, I'm so excited. I will show you my jumpsuit in a second. Um, I wasn't going to go in it, but I was like, I can't bother to get changed when I get there. But And as normal, I'm running late, I was going to leave at 10, and it's now half 10 already, so whatever. Fashionably late, I'm, well, to be honest, I'm not going to be late at all, but anyway. Um, I didn't vlog anything else yesterday, I got home and got some pretty sad news, an old an old family friend um, sadly passed away last weekend uh, so I wasn't really feeling vlogging to be honest so I didn't <laughs> um, but yeah let me show you my jumpsuit so this is what I'm wearing can I just say like it has pockets it's like a perfect um, I absolutely love it it's from new look the only thing is this bit makes me nervous like it's quite loose I'm having to keep it pulled round quite a bit so I don't flash anybody but it's little culotte jumpsuit I've got my sandals on I'm not sure about the shoes to be honest but I don't have any others so I have to wear them but it's got like tropical flowers all over it and birdies and the theme of the party is like 
tropical so though we do not have tropical weather right now so I'm taking my leather jacket my, my cropped one to wear over the top in case it gets a bit cold but yeah that is one's outfit for today um, and I'm taking my little pull and bear bag this bag I literally haven't used this for ages I got this when I was on holiday in Tenerife a few years back now and um, I love it and it goes so well with this so I was like meh yes and I painted my nails orange because why not I love orange but I need to go because as always plan to leave at a certain time and Kari never leaves at the time she says she's going to leave I'm just going to quickly show you the garden before everyone arrives <clears throat> Decorated. Look at all this food. <laughs> I'm losing my socks. Look. It looks like it's gonna rain. I'm not going out. It's cold. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Look at the fridge. Wine. Food. Shut. no idea how excited I am to live here. <laughs> well, I sucked at vlogging yesterday. I didn't get the camera out because I don't know, I just felt a bit weird like getting the camera out. And then I know the little clip that I got of the garden was pretty crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't vlog anything, unfortunately. But if you follow me on Snapchat, you'd have seen little snippets and Instagram and stuff. So well done to those people you saw what happened um i actually don't know what I, I have filmed this week i can't remember what i have so i don't know what the vlog is going to be like again sorry it's late for the second week in a row but life has got in the way and i need to start living my life more so i'm sorry the vlog came second this week but you still get the vlog so that's what counts right i've got a massive bite on my arm look at this but I'm really lucky because I've only got one. I think a lot of the other girls got like loads of bites on them. Um, which is normally my trick but not this time. But yes, I've just got back. I had a really nice time yesterday with the girls um, and getting to know them a bit more and having a bit like a bit of bonding and meeting their friends and stuff. So yeah, it was a nice night. Um, I'm now going to go have a bubble bath so... I've just been craving a bubble bath all morning. All morning, it's 20 past six now. Um, so I'm gonna go have a bubble bath and then edit the vlog and then go to sleep, ready for to work, for, for to work? Ready for work tomorrow. I apologize for how I look right now, but you see me at my best and you see me at my worst, so my worst <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching the vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a little comment down below let me know how you spent your weekend and i'll see you next week i love you goodbye